Hey everybody, I'm um, at uh, Lake Eildon today, so I'm just, uh, I'm going to take you through and have a look at what we're going to photograph tomorrow I suppose. It's really a scouting mission, I have no idea um, what we're going to find at this particular uh, campsite. I've been here about three years, or three years ago, and I found a beautiful uh, little part of the lake with some fabulous sunken trees. It was in summer, so it was all cracked mud and it was an amazing place. Um, I'll put a picture up uh, now for you to have a look at. Now it's winter and we've had a hell of a lot of rain and now the landscape's completely transformed as you would imagine and so um, I'm not sure I can even find that uh, original um, place but we've come here today to have a little look and see what we can find for dawn tomorrow so I'll spin you around and give you a little look this is um, Lake Eildon. Uh, oh, look, there's some, some kangaroos. Hello, little fellas. Hello. Don't want to disturb you too much, I just want to go on the other side. There's a mother there with a joey, um, popping their head out of a, out of a pouch. So you can see, we've got Rafi on our lead, He's, dogs are allowed here, so long as you're, you're obviously sensible. But this little mum, she just, there she goes. There she goes, bouncing along. And a reason why I really didn't want to disturb them is because there's this little um, piece of land that you can see jutting out. I wanted to wander around there um, and just have a little look and see if there's a, a composition. This jut of land I was hoping would um, draw your eye in. And it does to the hill on the far side. You can just see a reflection of that hill there. And so I'm just at an old uh, campsite that you can see there, but that might make Pile of stones might make some foreground interest, but that looks beautiful, doesn't it? There you go. So this, I think, is going to be my morning composition. So I do like that. I think I'm going to run and get the camera and just do a quick um, test shot here. But it's beautiful. You, you've got to be careful. You can see that green algae. Now that's um, that's a bloom, and that's quite dangerous. So I've got to make sure Rafi's on the lead, and that he doesn't um, get mixed up with that. But that is just just that 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 green is actually drawing the eye in as well. Right. I think we'll go and get our camera, and then see what we can do from here. It's dying very quickly now, so I'm going to take one last test shot 
of these two trees, there's a third one in the back but it's very small in the frame. I've changed lenses, I've now put the 32 to 64 on. So if I swing over here, I'll probably get that third tree a bit more definition so it actually appears better in the frame. So I think that would, I think that works a little, a little better for what I wanted to get out of this. So now I'll just angle this very slightly, it's very slightly down to get the full reflection. Again, light's dropping, so it's now telling me it's about eight seconds. And that's fine for this shot. starting to rain so we may need to pack up good morning so it's f13 one minute and uh, a 0.9 soft grad just to pull down that sky a touch so fingers crossed we get some we get some great color uh, you uh, you probably saw what it looked like uh, already um, when I scouted here yesterday there was a green algae bloom which we've been told is quite dangerous to actually to humans and to animals so uh, Rafi's here with me, but unfortunately he's on the lead for the time being. When we've finished photographing here, we'll, we'll walk up into the hills a little bit more where he can run and get his morning exercise, stretch his legs. Now that is, uh, it's, a, it's nice for the sky, but it's slightly under underexposed. So I think I can push that to uh, two minutes, which is what I'm going to do. out wider this is a this is around 50 mil on medium format which I'm probably guessing is around about 35 that's a guess about 35 on full frame so what I'm what I'm attempting to capture are the trees on the left and this um, almost pike shaped um, uh, cloud with a red underbelly I'm sweeping across the sky. I've got to watch this hat that highlights because it's uh, you can see the sun is starting to really push and burn through that cloud in that corner. It's just a pity that we didn't we didn't get that red colour coming through, but I'm, I'll take this. I'll take this any day. I suppose this is an example of plan B, C, D, some sort of plan. I've, uh, I've come here to a little spot I've been to before at Lake Eildon. Last time I was here, um, you, could draw, you could walk about 50, 60 metres that way. 
out into the water where the water is now and this fence line continues out further and further getting older and older and more rickety so I've come here today and after winter and the winter rains which is which is uh is much needed in this part of Australia it's uh, it's it's flooded um, where I wanted to shoot uh, you can't see but way out in the distance there's a little there's a, there's a little post a little speck and that's actually where I was going to shoot from with this fence line going into the water but never mind um, we have two things we have the fence and we have water um, we don't have much of it going into into the water but what there is uh, we'll make do and do the best we can so I might as well set up and see what we can get uh, finally <laughs> I think I've landed on a composition that I'm happy with I've come I've stayed on on this side on the sun side of the of the uh, fence posts uh, again that water's uh, the fence line is leading into the water and it's pointing off towards that distant hill I've just put pulled out a little bit to make it a wider shot and uh, I'm focused in let me just recheck that and let me just f flip that Let's focus slightly yep so that's given me about a second um, I'm at f16 and that'll give me everything it says here in focus uh, from here uh, front to back I'm, I'm focused in on this um, nearest post to me the third one in the water so uh, one second with a 10 stop will give me an, a minute exposure so I will try that and then we'll see uh, what we get from that so let's just put it onto manual dial in a minute we've pre-focused focus on manual let's see what we get but just look isn't it wonderful look at that oh when i'm when i'm taking photographs i just feel all stern and and i'm serious but inside i'm i'm just i'm all over the place just hoping praying and willing color in those clouds so, that's that composition done it's actually quite nice Colour portrait, and this time I'm going to step in to the water. As it is, but this is this is just beautiful, absolutely phenomenal. And it doesn't do justice for you on this wide angle it just doesn't do justice at all so we have this one complete now that is something I like okay uh, I'm pleased with
Oh, well, that's it from uh, Lake Eildon. That's it from me and Rafi. If you enjoyed this uh, video, or if you like my style of photography, then please consider subscribing. Um, like the video um, if you like the content. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again. So uh, take care wherever you are. See ya.